everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have for you today a quick Sainsbury's food haul. Forgot to get my slot again at the weekend. I'm failing miserably at this. Uh, so I've literally just popped up to get a few bits. Just quickly, as I mentioned last week, we are having our Gusto box delivered. It's actually coming tomorrow, so it's a few days late. We got a message just asking if we'd be happy to delay it just for a couple of days, and then they would give us a five pound discount. But yeah, we were happy with that. So it's coming tomorrow, therefore there's really not a lot of meat on the shop. So yeah, it's just a small one for you. Hope you enjoy. So just to start off in this corner, I actually bought this beige washable runner because someone walked in a load of mud into our house the other day we've got cream carpets and i stuck our runner through the wash and it shrunk so <laughs> this was 15 pounds which is perhaps a little bit more than i would normally spend but the fact that it's washable on 30 degrees makes me think it's probably just worth the extra few quid that can just sit along our hallway a big pack of 18 diet cokes they were six pounds they were reduced down i think from eight fifty nine pound and it's best just to get them while they're on offer for us because we get through them quickly 12 free range eggs because it's pancake day and then some British potatoes, some Kit Kats because as I mentioned on Slimming World they're five sins and I just popped them away in the cupboard. They were on offer as well so I picked them up while I can. Uh, a big pack of 16 so that will last a while. Some ginger snaps for my husband and then I got two whole chicken breast fillets. We just like to have those in, handy to have them in the freezer. Some unsmoked bacon and I was careful to pick one up which didn't look very fatty, didn't have lots of fat running through, so it'd be easy just to pick off the edges and that will be slim and well friendly. Some chopped tomatoes and then a big palm olive milk and honey because that's my shower gel of choice. Wow, sorry, the sun is just absolutely beaming in. Sorry, it just changed the light then. And one of the honey hand washes, just the Sainsbury's own because it didn't have anything else on offer and I thought, well, I'll just try that instead. And then I picked up one of these kids cherry almond shampoo and honestly it smells delicious my kids are just gonna smell like a cherry bakewell and that's fine with me absolutely yummy smelling that one that was only i think 80 pence and then i've got one of these cherry blossom and red petal washing up liquids a big nine pack of recycled toilet tissue just a nine pack that was just over three pounds and then our usual semi-skimmed and whole milk one of the light up mayonnaise just sainsbury's own again when I go to Sainsbury's especially, if the branded stuff is not on offer, then I will not buy it and I just buy Sainsbury's own. As far as I'm concerned, in most cases, it's, you know, tastes vaguely the same and I just can't warrant spending full price on branded items. So I've got a few more of the Sainsbury's own today. A loaf of hove is soft white. I realise that's sinned and I've said before, I just am not keen on brown bread. So I would rather just have one slice of that and sin it. So that's what we do. I got these for my husband, some diet Irish yogurts, 66 calories per pot. I need to look these up and see what sin value they are. I know they're fairly low calories, but I'm still not sure on the sins. So fruits of the forest, pear and mango, apricot and nectarine and strawberry. I thought they'd make a nice change. I got a big pack of green grocers value selection onions. Again, these were so cheap. I think they were something like 70p for a huge big bag, which will last us ages. The Green Grocers Value Selection Strawberries, they're quite big, there's probably eight or nine in there. They literally last for minutes in our house and they were only £1.30 I think, so around about that. A pack of imperfectly tasty peppers, again like absolutely nothing wrong with them. I'm loving the fact that they're doing this value range. Um, I've got no problem using imperfectly perfect peppers, they look fine to me. A pack of raspberries and then a pack of the mixed seedless grapes. They like red and green, so I've gone for those. A broccoli, a pack of carrots, and then I've got bananas. How many did I pick up? Six quite big ones and they were 73p. Some ham, which my daughter's already raided in the trolley. We only really needed just a few wafer thin ones just for sandwiches. Um, but yeah, she's already worked her way through those. As I mentioned in my last video, we are actually having a gusto box delivered this week it was meant to be the end of last week and then they emailed and asked if that we would mind putting it on a few days and then they would credit our account with five pounds so it's fine with us this is a really 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 small shop so obviously for us we've only got chicken and bacon that's because we've got four days of family meals coming tomorrow and we just didn't need it so it's a fairly small shop a little bit of a disclaimer here because 
I'm well aware that my weekly shopping for a Slimming World follower is not necessarily always Slimming World friendly. I realise there's a lot of junk food in our weekly shop as well. I will just quickly go over the reason for that. I've mentioned it before, so for followers that have been watching my videos before, my son has a heart condition. He follows a very, very healthy diet. He has a school dinner at school and he has a second dinner when he gets home. We have to feed him a lot of calories in a day. We are under the dietitian, we're under the speech and language therapy for all of this. And um, we are very aware of what we can and can't feed him. So my disclaimer for my shopping in future is that if it is littered with foods like this, these are not foods for generally for me or my husband, especially when we're on Slimming World. We basically eat as a family around about five days a week. And there are two days where the kids don't eat with us. And that's generally a Friday night and a night in the week. Just wanted to say that because I realise that if you're doing Slimming World or any other diet plan, Slimming plan, then this kind of thing is not what you expect to see in a shop. But this is a family shop and this is the reason. So I just thought I'd say that because I know definitely someone just pointed out last week that I buy too much junk for someone on a Slimming plan. And I absolutely agree with that. That's the reason why we have a bit of a complex situation and that's the reason. We've got some breaded chicken goujons. This is classed as a treat meal and they would have that either with vegetables or some beans on a Friday night. They know it's a treat and they only have that once a week. These chicken char grills, this was a way in for us to get the children to eat chicken. It was recommended to us by the dietitian and rather than not eat chicken, from especially for my son when we were needing him to eat more. She mentioned that this was a good way in. It's a slightly softer texture and for children that aren't keen on meat and like the texture of it, then this is a really good way in. Now, because we've introduced this to him, he obviously still likes it. And we're quite happy that if we're having a dinner like lamb or something, then we will let the children have that. We, they, they're not keen on lamb and fish as a lot of children aren't, I imagine. So we basically follow the same meal, but they will have one of these instead. So again, that's why that's there. Cod fillet fish fingers. I think anyone who's got children of school age have fish fingers in their um, <coughs> have fish fingers in their freezer. We go for the hundred percent cod fillet ones just to make it a bit healthier. And again, this is actually something we don't often have in our freezer, and that's some fries. Um, but my little boy said to have with a treat meal on a Friday night was he allowed some chips, and we said yes. They were up be oven baked, and obviously. Um, that's the reason. Some cheese. I mean, you can eat cheese in Slimming World, but these are just for my daughter. We take them out with crackers if we're out for lunch anywhere, and she really enjoys that. Nutella, again, it's pancake day, and we've promised them pancakes tonight, so they chose to have Nutella. So dairy milk bars, just for the school pickup for my son. And then, um, I've said before, we when I pick him up at three o'clock, he's absolutely starving hungry, and I let him have a piece of fruit and a chocolate bar of his choice. Uh, or some biscuits. So these are the biscuits, these are the chocolates, and they get to choose either or, or um, basically they can choose some biscuits or a chocolate bar and a piece of fruit just to keep them going until about five o'clock. Uh, some Jaffa cake bars for the same reason and then some fruits because they're kids yogurt and some chocolate mousse. As I've mentioned before, it's my son's absolute favourite pudding in the world and it's full of calories, which is a good little boost for him at the end of the day. And that is everything. That actually came to a shade over £70, which I think feels a lot for a shop which doesn't have an awful lot of dinners in. But I have got a huge pack of Diet Cokes and I have got that £15 carpet runner. So obviously that's just bumped up a little bit. If you took if you took those things off, you could remove about 20 quid. So actually then it wouldn't seem so bad. But anyway, this will keep us going. Our gusto box being delivered tomorrow and we will have a nice week of eating <coughs> eating nice and how eating nice and healthily and hopefully trying some dishes that we haven't actually had before so yeah hope you enjoyed that thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed it i will be back later in the week with my slimming world update and i've also filmed another what i eat in a day just to keep ticking along i'm gonna do a couple of different videos i'm gonna do a monthly favorites and possibly something along the lines of um yeah so I've got a few bits in the pipeline I'm just trying to work around 
previous engagements this week that like things that we already had booked in and school pickups and things but hopefully i will get those filmed for you if you'd like to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that would be amazing i'm also over on instagram with the name mama underscore hedgehog 2 and on the lovely channel mum with the name mama hedgehog see you all soon bye